How about delegating inbox access? Like when I'm on vacation, I want Carrie to be able to open up and look inside my inbox here and delete messages, reply to important messages, things like that. To go ahead and to give her access to my inbox, I can do it one of a couple of ways. I can either right click on this inbox or that one, doesn't matter, they're both the same except one's my favorite. Let's go ahead and right click on that one and go down to properties, click on the permissions tab. And there you go. Default and anonymous. By default, they don't get any access to my inbox. Whew, that's good. So to add Carrie, click on Add. Double click. You can add as many people as you want. I'm just going to add Carrie, plus I only have Carrie. Click OK. And by default, the permission level is set to none, so that way if there's a power outage between when you selected her and you came down to set the permission level, then it won't be set to well, what's the highest owner and give her complete access when you didn't mean to do that so she'll be there but she won't have access unless we change the permission level and we can go ahead and say yeah let's give her author you got the read level the write level the delete and the other like i said in an earlier training video you can read my instructor notes on the other fields here and then go ahead and click apply or ok now, there wasn't any email. I'd have to notify or text her or send her an email saying, okay, you have access to my inbox. And let's go ahead and have Carrie give us access to her inbox. And so once she's done that, for me to access it on my end, I can just come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Open and Export. And by the way, she would do this on her end. Now that we gave her access to my inbox, she would have to follow the same steps. And then she'd have to come down here to open another user's folder and click on it and then click on the name to find out whose folder that you want access to. It's Carrie. Double click. Adds her name there. The folder type. Um, you can do calendar contacts, but we're looking at inbox. Then click okie dokie. And then if she didn't give me access to it, I wouldn't be able to, well, there you go, open up and view her inbox. Now on her end, it's not in the reading pane view. It's just the default for any time you open up a new folder here. So if you want to change that, click view. Go to reading pane, we'll turn it off, and then you get the preview, so arrangement message preview to off. And this folder only, and then it's, well, it's got a group by, so if I right click on one of the column headers, and I go down to view settings, group by, you see how I have access to change all this? Well, this is on my end here, and click OK, click OK, and then it refreshes it, loads her information in here. And she's got three emails in her inbox. So what kind of access do I have? I wouldn't know unless she texted me or emailed me or I tried it out here. So like the sharing request calendar, I could go ahead with it selected, come up here on the home tab and delete it. Can I delete? Yes, it takes it from her inbox and puts it in her deleted items folder, which brings up a good point. It doesn't put it in my deleted items because when you look over here, it's my stuff. It doesn't update it and show you over here where it says Carrie's inbox. So if I come over here and I click on Inbox, it'll actually take me back to my inbox on my computer here. And so if I want to access Carrie's inbox after I selected my own, I'd have to go through the same steps again. File to open export and then choose her and then the inbox and click OK. So the last two, I'm going to go ahead and click on Inbox. Updates it, takes me back to my inbox. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.